Hi Taurus and welcome to your June monthly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well and this is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Taurus sign so we can look at the cards, get a sense of the messages from what we see and that can help shape and guide the month for us. So let's see what we have. I've already shuffled these cards quite a bit. Give them a few more shuffles. So again, we have three majors, three major arcana cards. And with the strength card, the strength card is about believing that you have the inner strength within you to handle adversity, to ha handle challenging times, times of struggle, times of conflict, whatever it may be. Uh, it's where you dig deep and you look inside your own heart, your own courage, and you find ways to problem solve or to cope. And the coping perhaps is through gentleness and kindness and compassion and allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Because when you allow yourself to be vulnerable, uh, there's a huge amount of strength in that instead of putting on a facade. Because when you're vulnerable, people will sense it and feel it and may be there to help you as well. So with the strength card, it's about not overreacting in a, perhaps in a impulsive or forceful or, um, you know, damaging way of having some self-control to, to um, think about our reactions and to think about how we, how we deal with these situations that are challenging. Strength, it's about the, the size of your heart and the love in your heart to be able to deal with these uh, tough times that, may, that you may face. Could also be a sense of strength to show yourself and to stand tall and to be confident as you go through your life as well. So it's always always such a powerful card to see strength in any reading. And then we have the judgment card and the judgment card has the people rising out of their coffins, greeting the angel who's blowing the, the horn as if to say, I'm calling out to you. Here's the call. I'm waking you up. And why are we waking up? We're waking up to take stock of our life, to think about what has gone before. Our actions, have our actions played a karmic uh, role in where we are right now? What's ahead of us for the future? And when I see the judgment card, it always makes me think of life purpose. Am I fulfilling my life purpose? Am I doing what makes me happy and makes me feel that I'm helping others or, or contributing to the best way that I know how. Are my relationships good and healthy and loving? Judgment extends to really all parts of our own life and it's this um, internal look, look, looksy, if you will, at ourselves. And so we, um, you know, we, we, we we're taking the call from the angel to say, you know, if things aren't quite the way that you want them, why are you staying in that position? And you have the choice and the will to change. And you have the will and hopefully the foresight and the vision to think about where you want to go. And it's never too late to change that course and to allow, you know, judgment to get you closer to fulfilling and completing your journey. And so 
you know, judgment is this, I love the, I love the fanfare there that he's blowing. I've said it before, it always makes me think of the, the fanfare blowing in the song Stairway to Heaven, as if to announce here, we're taking judgment, we're taking stock, we're looking into your life's work and where are you right now? Where have you been? Where are you going to be going? How will you change it? How will you improve what it is that you feel that you want to improve? And here's the judge, here's the world card right after judgment. This is the 20th card of the major arcana. And here's the 21st card. It's as, as if you're taking stock of what you've done. And then here we get to the world, which is awesome. You've, you've done it. You've reached your dreams. You've accomplished your goals. You should feel very proud and very happy for what you've, what you've been able to do. And you can see the figure here is lightheartedly stepping within the victory wreath. There's a sign of celebration of recognition and perhaps fulfillment and feeling content because you've done what you've set out to do. And maybe it's a smaller goal that you can, uh, that you've been working toward that you've managed to, to do, that you've successfully, successfully completed. But these are the, the events and the projects and the relationships and the things that we do as part of our life. And as part as, as, as part of we, as, as part of how we live in the world and what we give to the world. And this is just the wonderful little hand clapping, like, wow, I've gotten, I've gotten it. I did it. I just sacrificed. I had to work hard. I had to deal with situations that required me to rely on my inner strength. And then I have uh, this contemplation, this internal review, the judgment, opportunities for rebirth, opportunities for second chances. And through all of that, I still was able to make it. And I was still able to feel good about what I've, accom what I've accomplished. And now I need to think about what's next for me. So these are pretty big cards, you know, three major arcana cards and the sequencing of, of judgment and then the world. So a lot to think about for Wednesday and the new moon. Let's see if I can add the numbers together today. Okay, so we have, let's start here. We've got 20 and uh, 21, <clears throat> excuse me, is uh, 41. 41 and 8 is 49, and that reduces to 13, and 13 reduces to 4. And 4 is about foundation, it's about your uh, security, building stability, can relate to your family. Let's pull an oracle card and get a little more information. relationship your primary relationship is with yourself and God and every other relationship follows from there to attract heal or balance a relationship then snuggle more closely with your loving creator as you feel safe and loved within so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper and the relationship with yourself includes recognizing that you are strong, that you have the strength, it, it, the internal strength to handle things. At times we may not feel that way, but we really do. It's amazing when you're pushed against the wall, you find the inner strength. And then with the judgment card, again, looking at your own relationship 
to yourself, to, to your life, all culminating in success. So I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, comment, and come back tomorrow for another reading. Bye-bye.